speaking of coaches, one of our great friends is with us. She's a little tan. Yeah, she brought back a little tan, a well, little I, bit. I have to open as we bring Coach Kim Barnjarico in, and we'll of course talk about the Magic Christmas as well. But I have to ask the question that I've asked every coach that has a chance to take their teams to somewhere with a beach. I used to work with John Thompson, and John Thompson used to love to take his kids to the Maui Invitational. But he had a rule: your feet do not touch the sand. Oh my god, that's terrible! <laughs> so the that's they got to the beach, was looking out the window of their hotel. It was a business trip. And he, enjoyed, I think he liked it for their parents or whoever else. And but he would not let the kids go to the beach. Would not let the kids touch the sand. I'm assuming it's had a little bit of beach time. Yeah, it's a it's a tough balance. It really is trying to find that balance. And we were fortunate that the last day on Saturday we played at one o'clock, and we did go two and zero. Oh, so everybody was kind of in a good mood. So we got back to the hotel at about three thirty, and then they had some time. And the first day we arrived on wednesday and we had thursday off thanksgiving off so they had a chance to go swimming too and it was great to see pretty much 90 percent of our kids were in the ocean so there that were two awesome. two small windows but i did let them touch the sand but see coach you said it's difficult to achieve the balance you didn't say it was impossible and clearly <laughs> your team did as you were the only team the only team uh to go 2-0 uh during that during that weekend right yeah, that was pretty exciting. Uh, our team really came to play. We were focused. Um, we were locked in. We played a tough Washington State team on Friday, and it was a tough travel. Wednesday was really difficult travel day, so they could have used the being tired excuse a little bit, but they came out ready to play, and we jumped on them early. We yeah, were really 19 focused. Yeah, 19-1, right? Yeah, it was in, it was incredible. And Shannon Smith um, had the job. They had they had a player on their team that was averaging over 20 points a game, and we really challenged Shannon with trying to shut her down. And she did a tremendous job. She held her under 10. And Shannon just came out being aggressive, really leading our team in transition, and had a phenomenal game for us. Yeah, 17. Like she didn't just defend; she also did everything for you. Uh, she filled the stat sheet: 17 points, seven rebounds, six assists. And as you said, play D. She had a complete basketball game. Yeah, Shannon's really been doing that for us a lot this year. She's leading our team in assists. She's rebounding the basketball, which was a concern for us early on. And um, she has the ability to score as well. And then she played great defense. And that was something that, you know, her parents came down. I said to them after, did you ever think? And her dad said, absolutely not, that my daughter would ever defend. <laughs> so it was really great for her family. And the first thing she said to him when she came over after the game is, did you see I shut that girl down? Not how many points. Did I score on my dad? So she's really grown. Well, uh, the other thing that I think jumps out at me in that game is balance. You had four players in double figures in that contest. You had Tia Thompson over 13 points and four boards. Saisha Gori had uh, 15 points, eight rebounds, and then Nicole uh, had 10 points and five rebounds. So you looked across your, your, your lineup and you had a major contributions all the way across the board. It and that's kind of been the balance when we're playing well, we have great balance and we, and it's probably tough for other teams to scout us because it's not as if you have to shut down one player because everybody else on our team is really capable of scoring. Sierra had a great weekend and it started with that game. Um she really made some big buckets when we needed her to score and she defended as well. Um Saisha and Nicole have just been great for us all year. So I mean those are our four returners and they're really playing well for us right now. All right, so, Coach, uh, let's go to the next game. We're talking to Michigan women's basketball coach Kim barnes Rico here on Sports Talk 1050 WTKA. We are live on location at Suburban Chevrolet Cadillac in Ann Arbor for the Magic of Christmas Adopt the Family campaign. Uh, coach uh, came out like she does every year uh, for this, but the second victory, again, uh, you, 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 go, you just blow a team out 70-50 to 50 over San Diego State. Yeah, it was exciting, and I wasn't sure how we were going to bounce back after playing so well against Washington State and then a quick turnaround and not much time to prepare against San Diego. Um, but we came out, and Sierra Thompson was unbelievable. She had 20 points in the first half. Wow. So she came out really playing well. And then Caitlin Flaherty came in and had six threes in the game, just really was able to score the basketball. But another um, – those two really scored for us, but it was a balanced attack in terms of us defensively and us really playing as a team and sharing the basketball. So, Coach, do you? I mean, you you made a lineup switch, and you, now you're getting some you get some more swing off the bench, and, and and you got you got your team seemingly not uh, relying on Caitlin as 
much you, did you kind of feel like that your your lineup your rotation kind of found its groove on this this trip definitely i i think you know we did kate we went with caitlin early on and and i just felt like she was feeling a lot of pressure we had spoken about that last week and and the game was so fast to her she's still a freshman she's still adjusting to the speed the athleticism on um, the physicality of the game at the college level so we made that change and she's been coming off the bench and i think that kind of gives her a couple minutes at the beginning of the game to really see what's going on to take things in and she's adjusted extremely well to that. She's a heck of a scorer. She's just learning um, to be able to handle the basketball against that pressure and to be able to defend at this level. So she's getting better and better every game. But I think it just gave the rest of our kids also a confidence to say, hey, you know, we don't have to rely on the freshmen. Let's go out and do things the way we did things last year, year the basketball. And other people have stopped, so it's been a good change. You think it's going to be tough to zone your team up, Coach? I, I think so. I'm waiting to see if uh, if somebody plays us zone, but we have um, some really, really good shooters, and you know, between Caitlin and Sierra, I think they had 11 threes in our last game, and Madison Rostovsky shoots the ball extremely well. Shannon Smith can shoot it, so we'll see if anybody decides to play us in zone. You know, Washington State played a little bit of a matchup, which is kind of a zone, mm-hmm. and we attacked it very well at the beginning of the game so you know and maryland was there maryland was in the tournament um so they got a chance to watch us play live so i don't know after watching us if if they'll play a zone yeah and i gotta tell you i i continue to uh to marvel at even though you, you head into these games uh most of the time against opponents that that have uh bigger lineups you continue to go into these games and rebound really well now i, I think the one game uh, the one game they kind of got well, you know, I think I think in, in in both games they got you by by maybe a board or two, uh, but your team, despite the size, continues to rebound at a very at a at a very high clip. No, 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 I got that wrong. I got that wrong. No, you you blew you blew the doors off of of San Diego State on the boards, and then in the other in the other game you uh, you clipped them by three. So again. <laughs> I my mistake. I should know. Sure, it I should change. know. <laughs> I should know not to not to. If I see something that where someone says, "Hey, Michigan got out rebounded," they probably got it wrong because again, <sighs> here you guys, you go out and you out rebounded opponents yet again. We, I mean, it's just a point of emphasis of ours every single day. And usually when we're successful, we're out rebounding opponents. So we really stress to our smaller guards, wow. hey, if you want to get on the court, if, if we want to be <laughs> successful, we really have to rebound the basketball. And Shannon Smith has done a tremendous job. I mean, if you see Shannon uh, on the street, you might think she may be, I don't know, a, a gymnast or a tennis player. She's 5'7", probably 100 pounds, soaking wet. But she's committed herself to getting in there and to mixing it up and to showing that toughness. And really, probably in the last couple games, averaging seven rebounds a game for us, which is incredible. Yeah, I tell you, Coach, that is uh, that is a testament to toughness. Because when you, hear, when you think rebounding, you think size. Yeah. And so if your team doesn't have size and they're still rebounding, that's all about will and toughness so that's something that you are you're imparting upon your team to show that on the, on the court you're also you know imparting upon them the importance and significance of giving back to the community with how you come back and help us out with this program every single year Oh, Debbie does such a great job, and it's uh, tremendous for me to be here. And we talk to our team all the time, and I think they really appreciate giving back. And we're involved in many, many um, community service events, and we try to get out and do as much as we can as a team and individually because we really see the importance of it. And we also feel that we're so fortunate to have the opportunity to put on a Michigan uniform, to have the opportunity as coaches to be at the University of Michigan, such a great place. We want to give back as much as possible as a staff, and as a team. So that's really an emphasis of our program um, each and every day. So I would never miss this. It's it's great for me to be here. And I'm trying to teach my children all about it as well. So I have three little ones and I was talking to them all last night about me coming and my middle one who's in third grade said, well, mommy, I don't understand. If we're gonna, we're, we want to do this for a little girl. Why isn't Santa coming? So, <laughs> so I had to explain that this is an addition to Santa. Santa still comes, and she's home listening now, guys. So right. Santa, Santa definitely comes. But this is like the the extra stuff that Grandma sometimes gives right. us. So they are excited, and my son, you know, is he's 13 years old, and he's all about giving back and and helping. So he wants me to bring home a, a little boy. For him as well. All right. Well, I got to tell you, it is uh, 
it's a great example you're setting not just for your your own kids but in your home but your kids on your team as well and and setting that example in the community uh you guys do a great job not just of of uh you know of playing in front of the community but connecting with them and so i can sense the the connection out there really growing and you can get out and see this team coming up here on uh, on wednesday as you guys take on wake forest coach just a few words about the demon Nick, demon deacons well they have a phenomenal player who's coming off of a 40 point performance wow okay. she's averaging 26 points a game so that's kind of a key for us is to be able to shut her down and really keep her in check and then you know hopefully just to be able to move forward from what we were able to do this past weekend so whose job will that be well, it's it's going to be a, a team effort for sure. Um, I think everybody has to know where she is on every play. But Nicole Elmblad will start on her. She's a six three kind of face up four, but can play with her back to the basket. And Sashigori will guard her as well. But it's going to be a total team effort. All right. Well, Coach, thanks a lot for coming out once again. Congratulations on your success in the San Juan Shootout, and good luck on Wednesday. Great to be here, guys. Thank you. All right. That was Michigan women's basketball coach Kim Barnes-Rico.